Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Zach Anner, my friend. I got. I them. use that term loosely. I use it in the book, man. I want to read aloud my introduction in your book. Mm -hmm. Sure, go ahead. All right. So this is whenever Zach is talking about a sketch comedy show we worked on in college. As that's awesome gained traction on and off campus, Mark and I began to get more and more volunteers who were interested in being part of the show. One Wednesday night, we met Justin Lowry and his roommate, Chris Damaris. Justin looked like a laid-back, red-headed Keebler elf. <laughs> is that fair or that's, is that fair? That's pretty fair. Chris had <laughs> spiked hair like a real-life version of Mark Simpson. Right? That's okay. That's fair. He took off a backpack, unzipped it, and removed 20 cookies, six crumbled pieces of cake, and a plastic gallon jug of orange juice. As more volunteers filtered in, he announced, I just stole all this stuff from the dining room hall, so if anybody wants it, it's over here. Yeah, that's how I was introduced to you. You brought all this stolen food it, from the okay, dorm. Okay, so it wasn't stolen food. Yes, it was. No. This book is not an admission of guilt. These, these are his words, not mine. What are your words? How would you that I, describe that, it that differently? I, I got food from the all-you-can-eat buffet. I paid for it. That's the thing. You paid for a meal. You did not pay for a banquet for 12 <laughs> friends. Any other problems? Well, on page 319, there's a discussion about the way I talk. You ask me a question, and then silence. One of those 12-month pregnant silences that only Chris Damaris does. Uh, and there's a lot of periods. You used to call me and fall asleep on the phone, and then be like, uh, what are y'all doing? And then I would say, you know, like, oh, we're just, you know, having dinner or whatever, and then you'd be like, so what are y'all doing? <laughs> you did mention in your book that your first kiss was me. That's true. Actually, that was my fourth kiss because it took us like four, four tries. <laughs> To get through it. I was very concerned, like, how much do I open my mouth? Should Which I was put, none. Put you did not need to open in? your mouth I at thought all. I was supposed to be committed, and then I was like, do I put the tongue in nope, or not? No, you don't. For the record, when you're doing a kiss on camera, you don't need to add tongue. What would you have liked me to put in there that's not in there? Well, you didn't talk about how I was a good kisser. Well, I didn't know, because you were the only one that I'd had. And well, I then... Would the best kisser I've ever had. He taught me everything I know about kissing. <laughs> yeah, I know and that. I had to relearn everything <laughs> when I had an actual girlfriend to kiss. You didn't teach me shit. I cannot recommend Zach Anner's <laughs> book whatsoever. It gets zero out of eight stars. Mm -hmm. Can I that. ask you a question what? though? Have you actually read the book or did you just look for your name? I just, you know, those <laughs> are the best parts. Even though, you know, they are a little stilted. So that's about it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click on me. If you want to subscribe to Zach, click on Zach. Uh, if you want to order his book, um, go to ifabirthyoudontsucceed.com. Link is in the description. I'll try to write you with a more uh, fair and balanced approach next time. Mm -hmm. You had a very young vibe about you. Uh -huh. How long did that hair take? I had a lot more free time then, okay? Uh, <laughs> Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a costume for a Tauntaun from Star Wars. It's everyone's favorite beast of burden from Empire Strikes Back. Using a few everyday objects you can find lying around your house. 